Is that what you were feeling <laughs> in the dugout the whole time? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I couldn't ask more from our ladies. They really seize, seize the moment. I mean, uh, sometimes you can be afraid of this being in a situation like this, but I think we really stepped up our game. Uh, started with a great game uh, Friday. We were, it could have gone either way, and then yesterday we took control of the series, and then today we came out and we just seized our opportunity to win it at home in front of our crowd, and we had a great pitching performance again from Jess Moore. So uh, hats off to the ladies. They did great. What does it mean in the moment? Did you, did you set the stage for that all year by not shying away from expectations? I mean, did you make it easier to handle the pressure of a weekend like this than you might have if you'd ignored it? Yes, we've, we've spent the whole season bringing things to the forefront and saying, you know, it's okay to feel emotions. It's how we control the situation that really matters. I mean, because sometimes you pretend it's not there and then you get in trouble. But we really wanted that pressure. We wanted to be in that moment. We wanted to seize the opportunity and uh, I think they did a great job of that this weekend. What does it mean to you to be a part of the first ever <laughs> conference title? Well they can't take it away from you, you know? that's one thing and we get to stick that Pac-12 champions out there on the center field and uh, I'm going to be so proud of that. It's awesome because winning this Pac-12 championship is just as hard as winning a World Series. you got to play week in and week out for you know nine straight weeks and, and the ladies really did that. They, they controlled the whole uh, season. So. Great job. Now we just got to finish it off next week. Did you think when you took over this job that you know this was something you guys could do? This is such a powerhouse conference, and the people yeah. who have been at the top have been at the top a long time. Well, when I interviewed for the job, I promised them I would. So <laughs> <laughs> I kind of lived up to my words. Uh, that's a good thing, you know. Um, you know, I just feel like, like you know, uh, if you get the people with the right desire and the right hard work and uh, some good coaching, uh, and I've got great assistant coaches. Uh, that we can do anything because we have the same talent that they can get to and it's just a matter of turning it around and becoming a destination site and uh, you know we're not there with the UCLA's and Arizona's of the world yet but this is a great start you know to, to get a Pac-12 championship for us. To reflect all on the steps it took to get here, I mean are there major, major milestones, mileposts to go in your mind? Well, it, it certainly is. I mean, uh, just from the culture we came in, it was like coming off a season where they won 16 and lost 34 and just trying to get the mindset changed, you know, we can do this. And it was going to say, we knew it was going to be hard work and not everyone buys in at the same time, but now with the senior class, uh, the freshman class came all the way through, now it's starting to revolve and starting to turn itself over and that's what we're really working hard on is basically to coach themselves. And Jess Moore's been a shining example of that. I mean, I couldn't have a better player on my staff, on my team, that can teach the underclassmen how to play this game. She has been such a huge part of this turnaround and has really epitomized what you guys have become. What was it like? Just you care about her so much to watch her celebrate. She went a little crazy right at the end. Yeah, I mean, I just know she's a very emotional person and I know this means a lot to Jess. Um, and so am I. You know, I mean, you've got to be. To be an athlete, you've got to be able to put yourself out in the spotlight and perform in the big situations. And she does it. And she's carried this team. Uh, last year, more so than ever, because we just had two pitches last year. This year was a little easier, of course, with Sheridan Hawkins out there. And that may be the big thing that changed this around for us, was having that extra arm, that extra pitcher, giving Jess a little more rest, a little more confidence. She didn't have to do it all herself. And, uh, you know, so I think it's really a team performance, including Janelle Linville coming in and doing a great job behind the plate as well. So you ran when they right, came after you with the Gatorade. And that's <laughs> no, but I didn't want to get cold. I remember last year in Texas, it was pretty cold. So yeah. well, they got me pretty good. They weren't going to let me get away. So I had to stop sooner or later. Yeah. The water? It was water, thank yeah. goodness. Yeah, with a white shirt on, it'd be looking pretty bad. <laughs> Is it fair to say like your first meeting, team meeting in the fall, a Pac-10 championship came up? Yes, Pac-12 uh, Pac championship and uh, a World Series championship. Um, you know, I think that, you know, it's just whoever gets hot at the time, you know. Um, you know, Alabama wasn't the best team that won it last year. No disrespect to, to, to Alabama, but Oklahoma had the best team in the country last year. So, you know, any, any given day, you just got to play better than the other team that's out there. And, uh, you know, I think we've proven that, um, that we can play with anybody in the country. We just got to get on a roll and believe in ourselves. Do you feel like you've set yourself up for that role? Um, yes, you have to. You have to do from hard work and success. You can't just go out there and not have success and expect to do it. But we've played Alabama's before. We played Oklahoma. We got kicked. We learned a lot from that game, or at least our freshman pitcher did. Um, you know, we play the top teams in the conference. We'll play Arizona State next week. So it's all a learning experience and, uh, you know, being in those big moments. And, and it's hard to prepare for a World Series and go out there and win it your first time. We were there last time. And we're hoping that experience will help prepare us for this one. Now, there's a long way to go too. We got to go out there, and we got to win regionals and super regionals. So, but you know, if we happen to do go that far, I think we'll be a little more prepared.